Hello again, everybody. This is Jim, your product expert with Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure, enjoyment, and hopefully some good information for you today. Today we're tackling, tackling uh, gas pumps 102 and dewatering pumps. What the heck is a dewatering pump? Well, I'll tell you. Um, it's basically just a, a pump that's going to use be used for moving clean water, uh, emphasis on clean. Uh, you don't want any debris going through that pump. It's not really designed for moving debris and getting any debris in there. Yeah, a little sediment and things like that that might be in the water that's fine microscopic stuff no problem but you get into the large stuff you don't want that going through this pump um, again this is for moving water from point a to point b um, clean water you want to use a good uh, properly sized suction strainer on the end of that suction hose going into your water source so from the suction line uh, be in the front of the pump uh, from this guy in the bottom right down here going into the water you want something like this on the end of that hose to filter that water out any or any sediment from getting into that pump um, make sure you're not exceeding what the pump is rated to do in head lift um, look at the pump curve most of these pumps do have a curve on them on their spec sheets so you know take an idea take take a look and uh, figure out what you're going to do with this pump how high you might be pumping this water vertically and how far you might be pumping it you know, total head lift is real important on these pumps. Don't get a pump that uh, if you're pumping 80 feet up a hill, it can only do 40 feet or 50 feet of lift because it's not going to do it. It's not going to pump that up that hill. And uh, make sure you maintain the hose size diameters on these pumps too. So whatever the diameter is on the suction and discharge pipe or discharge port is on these pumps, at least maintain that diameter on the hoses. Uh, don't reduce the suction hose. If you've got a uh, a two inch suction uh, port on the pump. Don't go down to one inch or three quarter inch. You're going to burn that pump out pretty quick. Um, and the same thing on the discharge side. Try and maintain that diameter on those hoses going out. Um, if you're running longer distances, you may need to actually increase the diameter of, the, of that pipe or that hose you're running on those. So hopefully it gives you a little insight and idea on how these pumps work and what the dewatering pumps are for you or what they're being used for. It's dewatering or transfer. Um, if you have any other ideas and questions you want to know on this or more questions than anything else or Q&A video ideas, shoot me an email. Give me a call. My uh, phone number there is listed. My extension if you want to get a hold of me. My email address down there is service at waterpumpsdirect.com. Check out our how-to library. A lot of good information over there. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, you all have a great day. Take care.